friends hope you all are doing well and staying safe welcome back to yet another video of the football mania and it is going to be the monumental clash at the etihad stadium which could potentially be the title decider it is going to be manchester city versus arsenal in the english premier league with roughly seven games to go i would say that at the moment manchester city are the favorites arsenal have played two games extra but what matters is all three points for the gunners if they are able to deliver a performance which is filled with grit passion character and personality there is no reason why they cannot beat manchester city but the most interesting talking point ahead of this match is the kind of contrasting form that both teams are in going into this match arsenal are coming on the back of three consecutive disappointing draws which potentially could be a big blow in their title charge and on the other hand manchester city are like an engine which keeps on flying and there is no stopping this manchester city team which has just found a new level of form going into the business end of the season be it the champions league be it the fa cup or be it the english premier league the treble is very much on course and pep guardiola is quite confident of their chances and going into this match it has to be said that arsenal are not the favorites especially because they have a terrible record at the etihad stadium and the most important talking point if you are an arsenal fan is that granit xhaka is suffering through an illness so it would be really interesting to see what kind of starting 11 does mikel arteta pick for this match the most crucial aspect once again being that the midfield of thomas partey is simply not going to bolster arsenal he requires the presence of jorginho and i am just expecting mikel arteta to drop zinchenko for this match because defensively he is an absolute shambles kieran tierney can give you that offensive threat by overlapping as a full back and whenever kieran tierney plays martinelli gets that freedom to express himself and that is where i feel that man arsenal will be creating most of their chances down the right hand side of manchester city because kyle walker will be bombing forward and that would leave wide open spaces for the likes of gabriel martinelli to exploit and once again i i have been in this argument that leandro trossard st should start some matches and going into this huge fixture arsenal can take no chances whatsoever it is a must win match for the gunners and having said that they are really missing william saliba at the back the reason why i say this is because he has been the pillar for arsenal's success recently and whenever he is not playing they are bound to concede at least two goals rob holding at the elite level is simply not good enough and if you talk about his partnership with gabriel i feel that there is not much understanding you know that is not the same kind of telepathy in which saliba and gabriel play and whenever saliba plays we know that there is that calmness in the defense everything seems to slow down whenever saliba plays and suddenly arsenal pick up their rhythm and they are very very quick in transition and talking about transitions we have to remember that erling haaland will be looking to destroy arsenal up top because he knows that he just requires a small chance and he can put it into the back of the net kevin de bruyne and erling haaland's partnership has been just incredible for manchester city and they have too many options in midfield which obviously gives pep guardiola the luxury of rotating his squad and i might not be even surprised if bernardo silva plays as the right wing back especially because you know that gabriel martinelli would be overlapping he would you know kind of destroy kyle walker if he is left alone and it would be really interesting to see how does guardiola approach this match because he knows that you know in the midfield arsenal would be really tough to play against they like to win all the second balls aerially they have the presence of thomas partey and now that granit xhaka is still doubtful for this match whether jorginho starts or not is the big question and how would 
Mikel Arteta actually tweak his lineup. He has a lot of options to consider and for this huge match, at least for once, he needs to have a very, very strong starting 11. And, you know, the over-reliance on Zinchenko has actually backfired. And we know that he is very, very technically gifted. Whenever he comes into the midfield, he looks like a very different player. But his actual position is the left back and he is never in position. Whenever Arsenal have conceded goals, it has always been from the left hand side where wide open spaces are left because of Zinchenko drifting into the midfield. So when that happens, we can see that there is not a sense of assurance within the Arsenal backline. Whenever Zinchenko goes into the midfield, it becomes three men at the back and Gabriel is completely isolated as the left-sided centre-back. So that is somewhere I feel that, you know, Manchester City would be looking to exploit that space and especially because you know for a fact that even if Bernardo Silva plays or Riyad Mahrez plays or even Phil Foden plays on the right side of Manchester City, they would be causing problems. And the most important aspect for Manchester City is the deep lying runs of Kevin De Bruyne. He is very good in timing his runs and putting in those first time crosses from which the likes of Erling Haaland can have an easy tap in. And this is where Manchester City are so dangerous. Even when the going gets tough, they know how to control the tempo of the game from the midfield and create chances out of absolutely nothing. That is the kind of quality which this team has from back to front. And talking about Manchester City's defence, I will not be surprised if Akanji starts this match along with Nathan Ake and Kyle Walker and I am expecting Rodri to play as that pivot in the midfield and he would give freedom to the likes of De Bruyne and Ilkay Gundogan who have been very very instrumental in Manchester City's success. And talking about how Arsenal will shape up, I am confident that you know this time around Aaron Ramsdale will not make any blunders at the back line and that is where the ball distribution of the goalkeeper comes into play. If Aaron Ramsdale is able to pull out saves and keep Arsenal in the game, it would be a really big thing for the Gunners and it all depends on how the first 10 to 15 minutes of the match start. If Arsenal play at a high tempo, if they nick an early goal, there is going to be a lot of pressure on Manchester City. But having said that, they are playing at the Etihad Stadium. And when the going gets tough, the 12th man, that is the fans, are right behind their team. And it becomes really difficult for any opposition to have any kind of control in the game. And that kind of relentlessness, that kind of pressure which Manchester City you know, exerts on the opposition, is just brilliant to watch and there is no better side than Pep Guardiola's team in you know trying to control the match trying to take the game by the scruff of the neck when the going gets tough this is how Manchester City have been molded they have that experience in many title races they have won four out of the last five Premier League seasons and it would be really interesting to see how Mikel Arteta's young gunners cope up with this pressure. All the pressure is on Arsenal. All the expectations are now on the Gunners to deliver a miracle by winning this match because only if they win this match, they would be still in contention. They would go eight points clear of Manchester City having played two additional games. And after that, if they win the remaining mat matches, they would be crowned champions. So it is as simple as that. Even a draw would not be enough for Arsenal because it would still be in Manchester City's hands. They have a superior goal difference. If they win all their matches after this match, they would be crowned champions. So it is all about who takes the game in control, who dominates the game, who wants the title more badly. Arsenal having a title draw for 19 years, this is their best chance to win silverware. And nothing more than winning the Premier League title. So if you really ask me about my prediction for this match, I would still be in favour of Manchester City 
a 2-0 win would be the appropriate score line because they know how to control games especially big games the crunch moments all their key players usually deliver so my personal goal scorers are Erling Haaland and Jack Grealish it would be a 2-0 score line and I'm expecting yet another disappointing night for the Gunners so guys please let me know what are your thoughts if you are an Arsenal fan, do you still believe that the Gunners can cause a major upset and still be in the title race? Let me know your thoughts and predictions in the comment section. And if you like this video, please do me a favor, hit the like button and hit the subscribe button because I'll be coming up with lots more valuable content from the world of football. So until next time, stay safe and take care.